All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is January 14th, Sunday, holiday Sunday here in the U.S. at least. Uh, tomorrow I'm, I'm off, which um, I'm happy about. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day here in Seattle, Washington. Actually, if I had a, a real web camera, I would point it out the window and show you. You can kind of see behind me if I tilt this up a bit. There we go. You can see the, uh, the, the, the glaring sunlight back there. Um, and uh, yeah, so some of you guys know that I... I, you know, I started up an event at the beginning of the year called Live Q&A with the Coach where I'm kind of just going to sit here and talk to you guys, um, answer questions, play with my hat, and screw up. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Yeah. All right. That's better. Um, and uh, yeah, take questions about mobility, kind of any of the coaching stuff I'm doing, Viking Ninja training. Uh, somebody pops on, you know, we can we can talk a bit. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to hang out here for the next 15 to 30 minutes and keep working on what I'm working on. So yeah, so I'm working on today, working on some, some of you guys know, I've started kind of, you know, my focus when I started this was I wanted to do kind of mobility and movement coaching focused on martial arts, martial arts practitioners, BJJ practitioners. And you guys know I'm, you know, I've been a martial artist for a while, uh, probably over 30 years I mean, right now. I train, I do, I do the Viking Ninja stuff, which, uh, which we can talk about too. I'll probably ramble about that a little bit, but yeah, I've been working on uh, mobility for BJJ specifically the last, geez, the last while it's been through a couple different iterations and I just pushed out, let's just say the beginner version, level zero, that I'm really happy with. And so I'm going to <clears throat> work on, I guess, level one. So level zero was covered a bunch of a bunch of general mobility for a series of movements that uh, were, they were actually put together by my buddy Gordon Chen, who is, uh, I was training at, here at, uh, in Seattle, we actually both trained at 10th Planet San Mateo, not together, sadly. And uh, I took some classes under him for a little bit. He was actually teaching at a, at a gym in Bellevue for a bit, and that was a lot of fun. And so he did a day one BJJ workshop, which I thought was really great. And so I kind of spun off of that, did some general mobility. And so now what I'm doing is I'm going back and writing kind of, like I said, the level one program. So, for example, the level zero consisted of just some general breakouts for some for some B simple BJJ moves, you know, things like the M1 pass or side control, the neon belly and stuff like that. So in level one, you know, what we do is we look at each one of those movements, you know, the M1 pass, the, again, side control, neon belly, uh, you know, sit up sweep, stuff like that. And we do specifically targeted mobility for those, for each of those movements. So whereas in level zero, it was basically here's five BJJ movements and here's a bunch of general mobility and level one. It's okay. Here's a whole series of movements just for the M1 pass. So that's what I'm working on today, at least right now. Uh, I've also been working on my website, which is awesome. Um, been working on mocks for that. And so those will go, hopefully those are going to get in, go, go into review Thursday. And I was, I was wanting to put, push something out uh, about a week ago. Um, but just due to travel and other things that kind of didn't happen. So I'm a little, little behind there, but, uh, yeah, otherwise I'm happy. So I don't know, maybe I'll, since I can pull up a, no, I can't, I can actually pull up a, a picture easily. So bear with me, this is the first time I'm going live, so I don't, I don't really know what all, what tools are all at my disposal here. I know I should, right? I work for Facebook. I should, I should know all these things. Um, but, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm here, um, probably for like I said, another, another five, five to 15 minutes, maybe 20. And, um, yeah, at some point, like I said, I'm, like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ramble on and off if people show up. So What else could I talk about? Actually, that's just weird. I don't. I don't want big blocks of dead air. So, what else can we talk about? Um, sure, my travel schedule. So, as I mentioned, um, yeah, I'm doing a lot of traveling this month. Actually, actually, this month, uh, I, I may have, 
I may have stretched myself a bit thin time wise. <clears throat> you know, it's my end of last year, and I said, okay, maybe next year I should only travel once a month, once maybe twice a month max, just just so I have time. Uh, you know, for some reason, I don't sleep really well when I travel, so doing work uh, like on the road is tough for me. You know, especially if I'm doing a workshop, right? So it's like you, know, you go, you know, you work out all day, you sit in the gym all day, and then you go back to your room and you want to sleep, but you don't. But you're kind of so you're kind of in that weird state where you're just like you know you're awake but not awake but not really functional and uh yeah that's, that's something i probably need to work on i don't know maybe you take take more new mood or, or uh more melatonin i don't know if you have a melatonin spray right now that kind of sucks um but yeah so travel this this month you know if anyone wants to meet up i'll be at um I'll be at the Onnit Academy this weekend. I was actually out there a couple weekends ago for the Viking Ninja Coaches Retreat and the Steel Mace Mindful Mechanics Workshop, which was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I made a post about it on my personal Facebook, and like I said, it was, was kind of cool to uh, to kind of go back to the academy and actually be a coach. You know, be coaching uh, a workshop and helping out. Um, you know, when I started there, what th over three years? I think the first time I went to the Onnit Academy was yeah, it was almost three years ago. Is probably May, June, something like that. May, June of, of 15, I think. Um, but yeah, you know, I never, I never really had any thought of uh, really being a coach or being an being instructor or being like affiliated with Onnit in any way. And I'm not right now, just to just clear that up. Um, I really didn't know what I was doing. Just It just seemed like a cool thing to do for a bunch of reasons. Maybe I'll tell that story at some point. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really cool, you know, and, and huge thanks to, you know, the man himself, uh, Eric, uh, Eric, Mil Eric Milan, you know, the Steel Mace Master Coach and the Viking Ninja himself for uh, inviting me and the other coaches to be part of this thing we're doing. Um, yeah, like I said, it was, it was definitely cool. It was definitely cool to, to kind of be back uh, at Austin uh, at the academy and uh, to, to coach folks and to kind of help out. And I know some of those guys even actually got to run, run some of the, the, the Friday classes, which, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I flew in late Friday, so I wasn't really able to help out too much with that. But maybe next time, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're we have a lot of stuff planned, so um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be back out there quite a bit. Uh, I mean, well, even and, and even just for other things. I mean, I know, like I said, I'm going out there this weekend for John Russell's seminar, and then I'll be out there march for uh unconventional barbells so i'm really excited about that i know that course has been uh they, they've been kind of bouncing that around in a few other courses for a while so i was really excited to see that, that got announced and i'll definitely be taking that um happy on that i'm not sure so uh, oh but sorry but back back to january um this is really exciting i will also actually be at um out in, i think somewhere on the east coast i think it's, it's new york it's new york or new jersey i forget which exactly um but i'll be at the uh, the viking ninja bodyweight prep course so this is our, our i think our first real standalone bodyweight prep course uh at uh, advanced fitness and wellness and that'll be it'll be um blake uh coach blake hickey of philosophically built and coach zane roebuck of uh, midwest strength and performance so those guys will be leading that and then uh, Coach Joe Fusco, who's, uh, you know, he's who actually works at Advanced Fitness and Wellness, is one of the Steel Mace coaches. And I'll be out there just to kind of, just kind of be out there, help out, meet some folks, train. And uh, yeah, I'm actually looking really forward to that. It'll be a quick day trip, you know, hop out there probably uh, overnight Friday and hop back Saturday night or early Sunday. And uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, we talk about Viking Ninja. Do we want to talk about what I'm doing in February? What else is we're talking about? Travel. Let's talk about travel. We'll just talk about the rest of the year. Uh, like I said, if anybody wants to meet up, I would love to meet folks. Uh, I've already met a bunch of folks, and I got to meet a very, very nice gentleman by the name of Ben Walker, who uh, I think uh, I want to be connected on the On It Tribe group in Facebook, which you should definitely, definitely join if you're into you know, it's on it stuff. Um, a lot of cool folks there. A lot of, a lot of cool conversations happen there, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, got to meet him at steel mace, mindful mechanics, really nice guy. 
hopefully we'll see him a bit more. I know we'll see him again at body weight, so that's awesome. And I know a bunch of folks have kind of connected with me on Instagram and other platforms and have also wanted to meet up, so yeah. All right, well, since this is kind of my first one, uh, it's 12.15. Uh, I've kind of been rambling a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this short right now, and I will definitely be back next, probably not next Sunday, actually, since I will be, I'll be out at Hive again for John Russell's seminar. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do Sunday night, depending on when and how and where I'm traveling. And, uh, but, but yeah, um, the, there's an event on my page. So I think it's the only event I have right now. So yeah, uh, hit that up and we'll be talking.